Hello everyone, this is Tom and Mark and Dad and we are first day back out at the dig site. I'll give you a little bit of a look here at what this uh, how, what the farmer did for us this year. He, uh, he left this area open. Kind of neat digging with uh, an area where we've got corn wall th on three sides of us. Um, so we just got started here. Uh, the dirt is extremely hard. Uh, just it's been so dry here in Ohio. Um, made a couple changes this year. We're using smaller buckets. Uh, that's making things a little easier for us. Uh, invested in a two-wheel wheelbarrow. That kind of helped a little bit too. But so we've been out here about an hour, and we've we're, it's not much, but we finally came up with something got a bag full of flint but there's our first broken piece of the year and again it's nothing to brag about but we all feel good about it yep. <laughs> so uh that's why we're here broke yeah the, broke the ice yep so hopefully we'll have a little bit uh have the camera back on a little bit more um yeah okay we'll get back to you thought maybe i'd show you guys what <laughs> What we had to do to get up through here it's uh i brought my weed eater out here to make ourselves a path down through here and the farmer said it was okay to take out a couple things of corn so we get down to here and we got to make our way through here and back to the car but yeah uh, pretty nice of him to let us just do that around here so the reason the original reason I turned the camera on and this is just 10 minutes after we found that base we just flipped out another one so that's a good sign we've uh, we didn't find anything in the first square that we dug but here we go Nice little blunted off point. So we've got two in a small area, which is a good sign. We'll take more of those, huh? Yes. Okay, well, we hope we have the camera back on. Okay, we have struck again. Uh, been a pretty good day for us. This is the third, third find. Again, nothing spectacular, but in missing the tip, hope I didn't do that. Looks like a little woodland type point. But yeah, so this is how much we've dug so far. We've got a bump point and a mostly whole point and a broken point. So that's a, that's a, as Mark pointed out, that's a pretty good ratio for how much area we have to do here. But it's tough work. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, pretty labor intensive, but okay. If we find anything else, we'll have the camera back on. Okay, you're gonna see a lot of cameras out. My goodness. Check this out. Oh, you're okay, Mark. Uh, that's, I would say that's our best find so far digging. Looks to be an Ashtabula. Wow. Now that's what we're looking for. Boy, I don't know. You know, it looks like Ashtabula, but it's got a little bit more of a stem. You know, it could be some, some kind of transitional piece too. But that is nice. Yeah. That is. Might be might be some of that Kashokton gray that our friend talks about. Awesome point. Nice find, Dad. Very. Hey, just in the business. Yeah. That's what I brought you along for. Yeah. Well, I was glad. I get to do all that stuff. But 
All right. Well, we're pretty excited about that. If we find anything else, we will get back to you. Okay, well, we think we're going to call it a day, but there's the dog to give you a perspective of. So we had those four finds today in that uh, small of an area. So that's, <clears throat> again, that's why we're digging here. Um, it's kind of an unu unusual to find that much in such a concentrated area in this part of Ohio. I know there are other parts of Ohio where they, <clears throat> that's pretty common, but, um, so, yep. Uh, well, we'll do a little cleanup video here when we get home. I'll get back to you. Okay, well, here's a <clears throat> quick look at what we found out there in that, uh, those first four uh, squares on our grid. Um, I didn't show this one on film. This is uh, just a broken base of one, but you know, I've um, I've recently started um, spending some time with a local archaeologist who is doing his own dig, <clears throat> and I'm learning some things. So, for example, looking at a point like this, you know, yes, it's all broken up, but I'm also looking to for clues that this has been in a fire, which this one has, because that, again, that is a clue to your site. Um, you know, if it was a campsite, hunting site, village site. Um, here's the blunted point we found. Here's the big beat up point. Again, oops, looks like some uh, fire uh, damage. So it was probably in a fire. We didn't film this. This is a tip that Mark found. We weren't sure on the material on this. Um, it, we don't find Carter Cave around here, but we wondered about it. That um, that might be a piece of that. Whatever it is, it's not real common to what we typically find on surface hunts around here. And the find of the day. This is an interesting piece. Um, <clears throat> We're not sure we can identify it. It's interesting because maybe a little basal grinding, but definitely the notches are ground. So it's ground all the way up to this notch right here. Um, I mean, I would have probably said fish spear, but it's got a little bit of a Nash to Buell look to it. Um, we're just not sure what that is. Maybe a transitional type point, but yeah, that was a, that was a really good find. And then <clears throat> I wanted to show you the other thing this archaeologist um, suggested that I go back and look at all the little pieces, parts of things that I put in the bag last year. And wouldn't you know it, we pulled these out. And I think Mark was the one that probably pulled these out of the sifter and put them in the bag. But, you know, you have to understand around here, we do not find pottery on the surface. I don't know why but we just, it's very rare in this part of Ohio. And so there were a couple examples of pottery that we found last year. So this year we're looking very closely and we picked these up today. <clears throat> and again, I'm gonna have these looked at because I don't know my pottery, but the, the characteristics that I'm looking at here, tell me that this is, it looks to be tempered with some sort of grit. This one again, not sure. This kind of looks like it's been in a fire. But, you know, feel free to tell me. Nope, Tom, you just got a some sort of a conglomerate piece of stone there. I would understand because, again, I'm not good at identifying this, but that's also possibly a piece of pottery. Which the neat thing about that is it really changes the whole, um, it's a game changer for that site because I, I would have thought that, you know, it was a hunting camp based on the stuff we're seeing. Um, you know, we found a lot of slate there, but when you start finding pottery that, um, again, means something else, they were there for longer term habitation. And so we're excited that this, that's definitely pottery there. But we're excited that we might be finding different types of pottery, which would mean long-term um, 
occupation by different cultures. So anyway, just a little background there. Uh, it was great uh, to get back out in the field for all of us, and um, we, we plan to do it again next weekend if weather permits. So I uh, hope you'll be able to tune in then. Until next time, this is Commissioner Tom signing off.